so let me uh, tell you a story uh, so this story is uh, uh, from uh, mahakavi kalidasa uh, so kalidasa is a sanskrit uh, classic sanskrit poet who has written uh, great poetry and plays uh, so once uh, he was traveling and uh, that's when he became a little thirsty so he's looking for a water that's when he noticed that there was one woman who was uh, drawing water from the well so he just approached uh, that woman and asked her for water so she asked who are you introduce yourself so then uh, kalidasa thought oh she looks like a very ordinary lady why should i tell that you know i'm poet and a writer so he he said i am a traveler so the lady reply, uh, replied in the world there are only two travelers the sun and the moon both rise and set every day and keep traveling perpetually so kalidasa was like oh man this lady so he said okay i am a guest uh but then lady came up with a befitting reply you know what she said she said youth and wealth both are temporary and hence hence can only be called as guests so now kalidasa is slowly you know losing his patience so then he said okay i am a tolerant person now lady again came back with a very you know she is showing her presence of mind so look what she is saying uh, she says in this world only two truly know the meaning of tolerance one is earth and second is tree how much ever you stamp the earth or throw stones at the tree both continue to nurture us so this went on and on and you know like every time like kalidasa will come up with uh, some trivial answer he'll sometimes say okay i'm a stubborn person i'm a fool uh, and so on okay and then like you know but at one point of time right he he realized that this is not an ordinary ordinary woman so uh, and you know he has been outsmart so that's when you know like he he touched the feet of the lady out of uh, respect for her and you know what uh, that lady was nothing but uh, the goddess saraswati is a goddess of learning and wisdom and look at what she said she said kalidasa you are wise but only if you know yourself do you become a, a human being a person without any awareness of self has not reached the pinnacle of being a human what a profound message is so the step towards real wisdom is knowing ourselves